The Caitlin Clark effect is real and it's spectacular and it should be appreciated and not hated on because there are very obvious reasons why she is getting all this attention. You got a bunch of people acting brand new and pretending they're confused as to why Clark is getting all this love when the WNBA hasn't before when these same people just showed up to the discussion too. Let's look at the numbers for a second. The women's national championship game outrated the men's by millions. That has never happened before. As a result, TV executives decided to televise almost all of the Indiana Fever's games. And if you look at the venues, even the road teams are expanding into new arenas and changing the arenas due to the demand to get thousands and thousands of more seats. The ticket prices have skyrocketed, more than doubled for the fever. The get-in prices for games against the Sky and the Sparks, where they weren't able to go into bigger arenas, is like $400 a pop. That is why Caitlin Clark and no one else was on SNL. Of course, that was ahead of the WNBA draft. And guess what? The draft did higher numbers than the last six WNBA drafts combined. Add to that fact, Fanatics reported that Clark's jersey sales were the highest they've ever seen for anyone on draft night. So th this is not rocket science. This is not a diss to the ladies who have come before, who can all play the game. But Nike didn't decide to give Clark a signature shoe deal worth like $20 million for no reason. It was a business decision, simple and plain. And for all these people who are saying, you know, the, these companies decide who is marketable. No, the market decided that Caitlin Clark is marketable. And a rising tide lifts all boats, which means the WNBA will never be the same. That's why I've called Caitlin Clark the Michael Jordan of the sport. You could reference Angel Reese and Clark as the magic and bird. And Reese is very charismatic and a star in her own right. But Clark is a unique phenomenon. The game of women's basketball, or it's not a different game than the, the men's side, of course, but women's basketball will never be the same now that Clark is a part of it. All those numbers will go up. And guess what? That means there will be a bigger media rights deal, which means the ladies will get paid more. So Clark is good for everyone involved because we also can't act like we don't understand why the money isn't the same since the revenue wasn't the same either. But with Caitlin Clark, the game done changed. Things just ain't the same for gangsters. Yesterday's price is not today's price.